that the Locust Bar or Chocolate Bar backwards is the best all-round secondary weapon for the heavy. As a fat man that he is today, I don't blame you for having different price styles that exclude this dish, but to be fully viable and to justify your class slot in your team, you might as well use it. Yes, you heard me right, heavy mains. The sandwich is not the solution. There are two major reasons as to why heavies prefer the sandwich. Firstly, this dish is the most iconic unlockable weapon in the whole game associated with heavy's precious treasure and hoovies. Secondly, the chocolate bar was inferior to the sandwich for 5 years up until the changes in the gunmetal update. Now, let's talk about what makes this unlock perform better in almost all situations. The basics are that the little bar holds you for 100 HP and provides the small health perks damage. Obviously, there's more. The recharge time is triple as fast, 10 seconds instead of 30 seconds, and the timer starts immediately when you start eating. This means that you can eat and throw a heal onto your teammate after mere 6 seconds. Let's quickly theorize. If you were to throw the bars 3 times onto a medic, you would heal him more than the sandwich with the same time required, 30 seconds. 75 HP versus 90 HP, but it's not the whole point. It is likely that your medic wouldn't become low anyway if he were to be topped off with a chocolate bar. Since the sandwich heals you for 75 HP, your med would need to get as low as 75 health, which happens a lot less with burst damage. Instead, the process is more gradual. For example, imagine a medic getting hit for 50 damage by a random rocket. Would it be worth throwing the sandwich? No, it will heal for 33% less than intended. However, your medic is still on 100 HP, leaving him in one-shot kill pipe range. If you were to give him chocolate, not only he would be topped off and ready to keep engaging enemies with you, but you're also able to top him off again triple as fast. Okay, so what about the effects the sandwich applies to you when eaten directly by the heavy? Let's start with you being on 1 HP, the health where the sandwich seems to benefit the most. The second you start the eating animation, you get plus 50 maximum HP for 30 seconds. This means that every health pack around you will heal you for more, a small one from 60 to 70, a medium one from 150 to 175. So, imagine you're eating near a medium health pack. You first eat to 101 and then grab the pack and be at 276 already. The HP you would have gotten from the sandwich. It is worth noting that the bread product also never fully benefits from the 300 HP heal, since you are never this low, 1 HP that is, unless something extraordinary happens. You could argue that if you take some damage, the sandwich would tank for you, but the heal isn't as significant. The latter argument was only focusing on a heavy being on 1 HP and being alone, the maximum potential of the sandwich. If you were to be 1 HP in around a medic or in his range, your survivability would be definitely on par with the other food product. How? Well, since you're standing still, the med could quickly make a crossbow pincushion out of you, also benefiting from the plus 50 HP. If he's out of range, he can still top you after 350 HP, giving you more than the counterpart. The 350 HP is very useful in tandem with the vaccinator, because of the minus 66 overheal rate. In combat, you technically have 50 more overheal on default speed constantly. If the Delocus Bar is eaten on full health, without being overhealed, it will get you up to 400 HP. Not only you'd make the life of your medic easier by overhealing yourself before a push, so you can heal others, but if playing without the medicinal man, you get to be your own personal medic. So I've been busy over the last couple of weeks. This guide should have been released ages ago, but oh well. Here's some things that I remembered only after doing the whole guide, and I have to thank people like Axony or Red Robot for reminding me. Yes, I did know them beforehand, and it does feel bad that I forgot about these, but still. The Locus is an excellent assistant when Sala pushing into a sentry. Synergizes with the brass piece for this too. If used along a quick fix, it will buff the actual overheal of it up to 426, and you only have to eat it every 30 seconds for this to happen. This is simply amazing. 
If you use one of the resistance minigans such as the Natasha or the Brass Beast and eat the Chaco Bar, you will start to get protected at not 150 HP like normal, but rather at 175 HP. You will be able to tank more this way. And finally, it is likely that the pirate update will roll out the new changes to the gloves of running urgently and the eviction notice. What does it have to do with the chocolate, may you ask? Well, the increased HP you get from eating will probably stack up with these, giving you more HP upon rolling out to mid and whatnot. Now that the video is done, here's some text for you to read, and some memes at the end, as always. I am going to strangle you with your own spine! <laughs>